friends welcome to my youtube channel Thanesh here today we are going to discuss about NLP natural language processing it is the 12th video on NLP uh, we are we were discussing feature extraction in the last video today we are discussing on bag of words a feature extraction technique Let's have a quick introduction to NLP. NLP is equal to NLU plus NLG. NLU natural language understanding, NLG natural natural language generation. These are all the components of NLP. You know it. These are all the steps to be taken while building an NLP pipeline. We discussed already all the steps we covered. This is the life cycle of an NLP project. There is a separate video on the life cycle of an NLP project. You can watch that video. Feature engineering. See, well, let's start about feature engineering in NLP. See, when we deal with an NLP problem, our input is text. We have to convert those inputted texts into something that our algorithms can understand. In general, we can categorize the features into two big categories. One category is meta features such as word counts, top word counts, punctuation counts, the length of characters, the language of text and many more. Another big type of feature are text-based features. We discussed already about tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, POV tagging, etc. We already discussed those aspects. Now, uh, what is not feature engineering that you need to understand? What is not feature engineering? Data collection is not feature engineering. We need to understand. And data pre-processing such as removing stop words, removing non-alphanumeric, removing tags, lower casing. Those are not feature engineering. They are data pre-processing or we say it's text cleaning. Creating the tag labels when leveling the data is not feature engineering. Scaling or normalization is not feature engineering. Uh, and the principal component analysis is not feature engineering. And the last step in machine learning, which we call the hyperparameter tuning and optimization is also not feature engineering. You need to understand these steps are not feature engineering. So different feature extraction methods we usually uh, you know, do are the bag of words model, bag of n-gram model, tf-idf model, word to vec, word embedding or vectorization. These are all the steps we usually follow. We are going to discuss about bag of words model. The bag of words model is simple to understand and implement. It is a way of extracting features from the text for use in machine learning algorithms. It has seen great success in problems such as NLP, natural language processing, information retrieval from documents, and document classifications. This is the pictorial representation of the different steps in bag of words. Input text, first we do clean the text, then we tokenize, word tokenization. There is a separate video on word tokenization by using NLTK and even by using Keras. We have separate videos, you can watch that. After tokenization, we build the vocabulary. After that, we generate the vectors. These vectors are the input to the machine learning algorithms. Let's discuss how it's you know happening, how it's working, bag of words. Here we use the tokenized words for each observation and find out the frequency of each token. Frequency means frequency is the number of you know repetitions. Here, how many times a word is repeating, that is frequency. Uh, see, let's take an example. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. So these uh, four sentences, let's take. We treat each sentence as a separate document and we make a list of all words from all the four documents, excluding the punctuation we get. 
let us assume that each sentence is a document and we are creating the words and, and we are excluding the punctuations and all these things so we know how to do it because you can watch the stop words the removal all these things we discussed you can watch those videos so we then we get it was the best of times worst age wisdom foolishness these are all the words coming in the above sentences the next step is to create the vectors vectors convert text that can be used by the machine learning algorithm we take the first document again it was the best of times and we check the frequency of words from the 10 unique words we have taken 10 unique words above and uh, bag of words model See, in the bag of words model, we have taken it, it's equal to one, was, it's one, the, one, best is equal to one, of is equal to one, times is equal to one. So, all those things in this first sentence, it's present, but worst, it's not there, zero, age, it's zero, wisdom, it's zero, foolishness is zero when we consider the first statement as a sentence this is the you know model we get see like this the rest of the documents will be it was the best of times we can get it like it was the worst of times we can write it as one 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 zero one 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 zero 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 it was the age of wisdom in the same way we can write it as one 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 zero one zero zero one one zero it was the age of foolishness again one 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 the next word in the vector is not there so we are taking it as zero see here we are taking it as one 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 so if this word is not there we will take it as zero there so like that it was the age of foolishness again one 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 zero one zero zero one zero one in this approach each word or token is go is called a gram creating a voc vocabulary of two word pairs is called bigram model for example the bigrams in the first document it was the best of times are as follows it was if you are considering two words bigrams it was was the the best best of of times like that you will get it another thing you need to understand here is the vectorization the process of converting nlp text into numbers is called vectorization in machine learning different ways to convert text into vectors are counting the number of times each word appears in a document calculating the frequency that each word appear in a document out of all the words in the document a bag of words implementation uh, you have different types of impl implementation count vectorizer tfidf vectorizer and grams so these implementations we will be we will be discussing in the next video that is uh, count vectorizer tfidf vectorizer and grams uh, the implementations using python programs we will be discussing in the next video and this is the limitations of a bag of words. One is the semantic meaning. The basic bag of words approach does not consider the meaning of the word in the document. It completely ignores the context in which it's used. The same word can be used in multiple places based on the talk context or nearby words. Vector size. For a large document, the vector size can be huge. Resulting in a lot of computation and time, you may need to ignore words based on relevance to your use case. Uh, these are all the limitations. So that's all about bag of words. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot.